One of the UK's biggest bare knuckle events came to Fenton Manor last week with over 1,000 people in attendance. The controversial sport where two athletes fight without gloves or padding on their hands is unregulated but isn't illegal and growing in popularity. But director Luke Griggs of Headway Brain Injury Association believes the sport should be banned. Well, at Headway, we think that all forms of boxing should be banned purely for the inherent dangers uh, and risk, um, uh, unacceptable risk of, of uh, injury to the brain. Uh, and and the, the, the message that I would suggest that, that bare knuckle fighting sends out to people is it almost tries to legitimize um, this kind of gratuitous violence and suggests it's okay to punch people in the head. It's simply not. And by putting four posts and a bit of rope around these, these guys who are, who are doing this, it doesn't legitimize it. It's dangerous and it sets an entirely wrong message. However, former boxer and promoter of bare knuckle boxing, Stefan Hanks, has a view from the opposite side of the corner. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's annoying, I think, sometimes. So a lot of these people, you mean, it's a bit rude that they're not researching before they're saying, they're saying bare knuckle. These lads won't be bare knuckle. These lads have their hands wrapped. They will have a wrap on their hands. Gloved fight is more dangerous because when someone's got the gloves on, they're continuously punching someone in the face. You mean, and they're not, and it's not the damage to the face, it's protecting the hands. With the controversies of the sport, there's certainly a cause for positivity. As one of the most popular fighters on the card, Michael Ode, feels, bare knuckle boxing hasn't just helped him physically, but mentally. I've had a bad with depression for a lot of years. Um, probably about 20, 20 years, all the killer. Um, fighting really does help me. Um, training, going to the gym makes me feel so much better than myself. Um, but fighting is my life. It makes Fighting is my antidepressant, man. You know, I'm concentrating on that one thing, and that one thing is killing my demons. Ultimately, Saturday went down a storm. With more interest shown, it looks like bare-knuckle boxing could be here to stay. Saka Budden, Staffs Live.